Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my personal project, so let's get right into it. The goal I made was to design my own advanced passport, which was both a safer, more efficient, and eco-friendly passport than a traditional passport which we currently use. This connects to the global context I chose, globalization and sustainability, as I looked into the existing immigration and developed on it, which meant improving the speed of globalization and making immigration feel seamless and interconnected. My product also had to be logical and easy to maintain, as it needs to be sustainable. Okay, let's look at the product and evaluate the design specification. Looking at function, the product must make the process of immigration faster, whilst ensuring passports are more affordable and secure, which I can demonstrate right here. So, I have my card in my hand, I just go to the immigration counter and tap my card. As you can see, it is processing instantly and would take my biometrics at the same time, allowing speedy use. Cards are also made of thick plastic, giving premium build quality. Coming to the second criteria, which is cost, I managed to keep the cost for this project very low through the use of free courses in Python and putting it myself. My third criteria was constraint. And I'd say I did quite well here as the passport is the size of an ID card, but not exactly 80% smaller. Additionally, the laptop and the scanner can easily all fit on a single. My fourth specification was target audience, and this simply meant designing a passport for the general public, which is the card, and create a code, as well as the database, which is managed by government authorities. Here, I made both of these aspects come to life. My last specification was linked to my global context and goal, which covers safety and efficiency, as well as taking into account environmental harm. This was another very important specification, as it meant having to set up an encryption and decryption machine in Python, as well as randomly scrambling the database which you can see on the screen. Thanks for watching. Please scan the second QR code to fill out my survey.